Bismillahir Assalamu alaikum my name is Asan and today we are going to send custom email messages to user email based on drop down selection in contact form 7 in wordpress before starting work it's my request please subscribe my channel thank you now back to our work so basically we will switch contact form 7 using drop down selection so go to dashboard and now you see contact so click on it now contact form section is open and scroll down here you see we have to form Islamabad branch form and Royal Pindi branch form. So form will be switched based on drop down selection by user. So we will do this by adding javascript code. So open form, click on edit. Now form open and this is basic form we have name, email and subject and submit button. Now go to mail section, so click on it. So this mail section received by admin when user fill this form then admin receive all information but we will send custom email message to the user based on drop down selection so scroll down now you see mail to so click on use mail to so enable this option so now in two field you see your email so this is user email also you see from and subject field so you can add text according to your requirement so now i add web ajna web and then you see subject so we will add subject here now you see we add islamabad branch form in subject field now scroll down you see message body so you can add your custom email message here so user will receive this message after submission form in contact form 7 so now we are going to add some message now you see this we added custom email message by website admin from islamabad branch also if you want you can add these tags also so user will receive this information and then click on update or save now contact form save so click on contact form again now scroll down and you see all pindi branch so click on edit now form is open and now you see mail so click on mail tab and now scroll down enable mail to and now add information again here now you see this we added Ajna web in from field and we added all pindi branch in subject and now scroll down you see message body so we are going to add custom message here also now you see we added custom message sent by website admin all pindi branch and now click on save again so contact form save now and now in mail tab you see this section will receive by admin and this section will receive by user now go to page and this is our page so we are going to add code so now click on element and code now paste code here and you will find all code in video description or in comment section now you see form id and form id is every branch and now you see div id select two branches and class and this class will replace with another class using javascript and now you see select id branches now you see option id option selected class and value 0 and then you see select branch so this is our drop down field and now you see option this is id 2 and value 2 islamabad and now you see id 3 and value 3 royal pindi so we have two branches and now select and div close and also form close and now you see div id branch 2 and div id branch 3 so we added contact form 7 short code here now you see islamabad branch form and royal pindi branch form so you can add your form here and you can add multiple form also now click on save now we are going to add css to hide or display contact form 7 based on drop down selection now we added custom css plugin so add css here and you will find this css in video description also now you see dot hide and display none important and now click on save or update page now page update done and go to page and refresh the page now you see this is our select branch islamabad and all pindi and now you see this is our first form and this is our second form but now form but now both forms show now we are going to add javascript code in our contact form 7 now go to add plugin section in such plugin write wp code 
so this is plugin we will use so i already installed this plugin so install this plugin and activate it and now scroll down on left side you see code snippet so click on it so we are going to add javascript code and now you see all snippet so click on add new and then you see add your custom code so click on it now you see create custom snippet so we are going to add code now add title here java context form 7 and then on right side you see code type so drop down select a javascript snippet now we are going to add code here and now paste code and you will find all code in video description or in comment section you see this code now you see function and we declare some variable document and you see get element by id every branch and in form you see every branch id we use here now you see get element by id select two branches now here you see select two branches in div and now here you see branch 2 branch 3 and branches now we declare variable se2 and now variable se3 so branch 2 and branch 3 so go to page again and now you see branch 2 and branch 3 and now you see select id branches for drop down so if you want you can add more drop down and more branches here and now here you see se2 we declare here on top with branch 2 so dot class name is equal to hide so by default form both hide and then se3 for branch 3 and then you see if this dot value is equal to is equal to 0 now go to page again and here you see value 0 on select branch so class name replace with this class now you see if this dot value equal to 2 now go to page again and we have value 2 in Islamabad and then here you see se2 this variable with replace hide and then you see class name dot replace with this class name and same with se3 and now you see else temporary variable this dot value so class name hide and now reset so you will find all code in video description or in comment section now activate and then click on save snippet now snippet created and save and scroll down here you see short code so click on it and then here you see short code copy this and again click on update so we are going to use this short code in our page now snippet updated and go to page again click on save and element text and then add code here now you see wp code id 301 save and then click on update so page updated now now go to page and refresh the page again now you see drop down select branch so click on it and you see islamabad so click on it and then you see form show and now raul pindi branch and then raul pindi branch form show and if you select islamabad and enter some information here and then you select Royal Pindi branch then form replace and information will disappear because we are switching form using drop down selection now we are going to add one more contact form so go to contact form open it form section open now you see Royal Pindi branch so duplicate it now form created and Karachi branch and then we remove this to check and then mail you can add information according to your requirement also in second mail too and then click on save so contact form save now now go to edit page so open it and then you see div id branch 3 so copy this line again and enter paste so this is branch 4 and this is a short code copy this and paste here now you see we added new form with branch 4 id and now you see drop down again copy this and paste here and id 4 also value 4 and name crachi and then click on save and then click on update 
so page updated now go to page and refresh the page again now you see three branches but form show here this is new form we added so go to javascript again you see variable se3 get element by id branch 3 so copy this line and then paste now replace se3 with se4 and get element by id branch 3 with branch 4 we added here branch 4 and now scroll down here you see se3 dot class name height so copy this and paste here and replace se3 with se4 and now you see if else so copy if else and then paste and now you see this dot value of 3 now replace with 4 here you see we added value of 4 and then you see se3 so replace with se4 we declare variable above and also here you see se3 with 4 now click on update now snippet updated and go to page again and refresh the page now select drop down islamabad you see form now roll pindi you see form and now select karachi and you see your email and subject field now fill some form islamabad so i added my information with my email as user and then click on submit now you see form submit thank you for your submission now go to email to check we receive email or not now you see email we receive islamabad branch form and now you see message body custom email message by website admin from islamabad branch so in this way you can send custom email messages to the user email based on drop down selection in contact form 7 now back to website again so you will find all code in video description or in comment section so you can add more drop down and more form here according to your requirement now open form and edit form now go to mail tab and also in message body you can add drop down branch name also karachi so this is static value so you can add static branch value in message body also so i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching